Hi, my name is Kelsey Edwing, and I'm one of the collaborators on this project. And my name is Deanna Edwing, and I'm another collaborator on this project. Our mentor for this project has been Dr. Joseph Long of UNC Wilmington's Earth and Ocean Sciences Department. Coastal areas heavily rely on accurate models for coastal flooding and erosion hazards to enable community preparedness. This need is becoming increasingly as important as U.S. coastal populations rise. One such model is the USGS's Total Water Level and Coastal Change Forecast Viewer. This portal allows users to select locations of interest and then view a six-day forecast of potential dune impacts as seen by this rising and falling water level in comparison to the position of the dune. While this provides information to coastal stakeholders, there is currently a lack of data in all these regions to validate and refine these models. This project addresses a need for additional data by harnessing the numerous webcams situated across diverse coastal areas. We have produced an automated algorithm that monitors hourly maximum water levels using two different methods and records the timing, frequency, and duration of the dune collision events. What you're seeing on the screen are what two of the final products might look like. On the left, you'll see an example of where dune, of no dune collision event was recorded. And then on the right, you'll see an example of where a dune collision event was recorded, as you'll see by the red and yellow dots. Our algorithm uses publicly available webcam videos and does not require labor-intensive camera surveying and image rectification. There are thousands of webcams available for use up and down the whole eastern coast, but this project was developed using Sakura's Web Camera Applications Testbed, or WebCAD for short. We specifically use this Buxton uh, Coastal Hazards camera site to test and develop the algorithm. And although the algorithm was developed using one web camera location, it was designed to be applicable to other web camera locations as well. You can watch the next video to learn more about how to use codes, the codes for this project or read the README, which provides more instruction as well.